Hi, thanks for taking time to do a little bit of a devotional together today. I hope you're having a good day and things are not getting you down too much. That you continue to move forward in your life and even learn some of the things possibly that God is teaching you. I just want to take a little bit of time today as Cheryl, one thought I've been thinking about and actually was reinforced by something that Harold Ebersol wrote. Uh, but before that even, I've been thinking about the scripture in uh, 2 Timothy where he talks about, uh, where Paul writes and he says, uh, look, I'm, I'm in chains, I'm in prison because of the gospel of Christ. But then he says this, but the word of God is not chained. In the older translations, it says the word of God is not bound. And I was thinking about that. What a wonderful thing to remember that even in light of everything that's going on and the isolation that we have, the quarantines that we face, uh, just being alone in so many ways, the truth is the word of God is not isolated. The word of God is not in quarantine, is it? And, and that's a great source of joy, I think, to all of us. I've heard uh, a number of stories, actually so many stories, of how God has used this time, has used his word during this time, and what an encouragement that is. You see, as awful as the virus is, as hard as things are, God is still God. God is still at work, isn't he? And God is using his word. And, and I've had reports from literally around the world, from some of our missionaries that we support, from other people report the opportunities that they have had to proclaim the gospel of Christ, to share Christ with others. Let me share one with you. This was from Karen Bradley and the group up in New York. They serve with crew, and uh, it's called Christian Embassy. They minister especially to diplomats and diplomats' wives from the UN. And it's a, it's a huge ministry and vastly important, uh, but it's hard. But uh, about a week ago, I got a letter, and it was about uh, a diplomat's wife who had called up uh, and, and they reported before, they knew her, but she had been distant, had been definitely like, uh, you know, back up. I'm, I'm not interested in this Christianity stuff. And yet she called and, and then spoke uh, to Karen's friend and spoke to her and said, I would like to hear about the Bible. And so she did. And, and, and in fact, the woman, she's the diplomat's wife from some East Asian country. She didn't say which one. And she said, tell me about your three most favorite Bible fables is the word she used. And the woman, rather than responding, just started from the book of Genesis and went all the way through Revelation, explaining the gospel and the story of hope in Jesus Christ for an hour on, uh, on Zoom. And and that lady, for the first time, uh, reacted and spoke to and heard about the gospel of Christ. And it, it's an amazing story. God's word is not bound. And I just want to do encourage you with that today. Whatever you're facing, remember, God's word is at work. That you might even be used by God to share the gospel with someone else. I wanted to take time today. You know that about a month ago... Uh, Several of us just got back from a mission trip to Guatemala, and we haven't had a chance to share that. And so I'm going to end this time just with a short video that was done there in Guatemala on the medical mission trip and all the things that God is doing there. So enjoy that. Have a great day. And remember, God's word is not bound at all. generation we're turning over every stone hoping to find salvation in a world that's left us cold can we get back to the altar back to the arms of our first love 
There's only one way to the Father And He's calling out to us To the captive it looks like freedom To the orphan it feels like home To the skeptic it might sound crazy To believe in a God who loves In a world where our hearts are breaking And we're lost in the mess we've made Like a blinding light in the dead of night It's the gospel condition it's the good news for us all it's greater than religion it's the power of the cross so can we get back to the altar back to the arms of our first love there's only one way to the father and he's called Guatemala. 1 Peter 4.10 tells us that we should take our special gifts that we've been given and to use those to bless others. This is a great opportunity to use the skills that God has provided us and come and meet an incredible need in this country. It helps us to fulfill the Great Commission and it also is a way to just help us to bless other people both in healing their mind, their body, and their spirit and sharing His Word. So we'd love to have you join us in future trips. It would be wonderful to have you with us. Thank you. me out of my darkness and carried me to the cross. Hi, we're here in Guatemala at one of the villages which we get to minister in uh, this year. This is La Union. And uh, we are so glad that you've been a part of it. One of the great things we get to do here is present the gospel of Christ to all the people who have come. Uh, we want them to hear the truth of who Jesus is. And, and so we present the messages, like right here, uh, they're doing evangelism and uh, sharing the gospel of Christ individually. Uh, this year already there have been uh, over a hundred people who have put their faith in Jesus. So you've been a part of that because you gave, because you have prayed. And we are so thankful to you for being a part of the ministry here in Guatemala this year. Gospel that makes a way Hello dear friends, thank you very much for all are you doing in the ministry of Guatemala So as a ministry we want to say thanks Thanks for the work um, it's value that you come in this time. Um, we hope that you come next year. We love you all. Thank you very much.